Hi guys. I decided for my next video that I wanted to smoke some fish. So I started looking for funny fish videos. Let's see what happens. Okay, I couldn't find a video, but here's a clip of a fish smoking something. So I knew that you needed fire to create smoke, but I might have overdone it, so we're gonna have to get a smaller thing to smoke the fish on. This is gonna be smoked salmon. So the first thing you do is you put it in a big bowl of brine, the exact same brine as I use for chickens and turkeys. This gets a little bit of extra liquid smoke in it. Then it sits on the counter for three hours until it develops a mucousy skin on it, which is important for preserving the fish. I use apple and mesquite chips. They're cheap and they work well. I will show you the smoker in three hours when I put it in and get it going. And then I will show you the yumminess and how long four pounds of fish lasts around my house. So this is my little chief smoker that I only use for fish. Everything else I smoke over an open fire. Here's the fish. There's the chips. We put this in here. The fish had to sit for three hours because it has to get a skin on it. It's called like pectin or pectal or something. I got this at a garage sale for free. You can get them really cheaply. When the doggies know that there's fish smoking, they're always hanging out. And look at how fast they move when they hear me coming. Whoa, good doggies. And here's the yummy deliciousness. We turn $6 a fish pound into $26 a fish pound. Or something like that. And now, the most important part. The doggy treats. There's one doggy treat. How about you, Bale Bales? And two doggy treats. And here you have it, the finished product. Mm-mm, good smoked salmon. 